Hey guys, I'm just gonna uh, talk a little bit before I'm heading out. YouTube keeps crapping out on me. I don't know if it's just my phone or what the deal is, but um, I really didn't have anything specific to talk about. Today's kind of a crappy day, and I always forget about it every year. And it's not that I forget about the person. I think about him almost every single day, but I always forget the anniversary date. Um, today's actually my niece's birthday, November 18th, and it's also the five-year anniversary of one of my really good friends that passed away. And it's so fucked up to me, like, that that happened five years ago. It almost seems longer than that. Um, because I, it was very close to his 21st birthday. So, obviously, I was 20. I just turned 25 last week. Um, so, yeah, it, it's always just, like, a really, really depressing time. And I didn't know if I wanted, not necessarily to share that story, but stories of him. Um, and I know in my videos, I th you guys have heard me talk about it many times, um, we met when I think I was like 14 or 15. Uh, he was probably my best friend other than my girlfriend. My, You guys know what I mean. My best friend, Marietta. He was like real, just very, very close. Just a complete sweetheart. He has a twin brother who is still alive. Um, their whole family has just been through so much. And I don't know how they keep going. Um, I know that their parents got divorced after he passed away. But... I think it was back in 2010, first um, their daughter died, um, their oldest daughter, and she has a little girl that they still raise. The next year after that, their house burnt down, and they had to move in with their grandparents, and then the next year after that, their son passes away. Like, I don't understand how, I would have absolutely lost my mind, and basically, I guess there were just so much grief in the marriage and everything, they just separated, which I don't really know you can blame somebody, I still see um I still see him downtown every once in a while. I saw um, his dad last week and gave him a hug. And, you know, he, they're, I just don't know how they do it. But, um, and then today my niece is going to be 12 years old. Obviously she is in Texas right now, so I don't get to see her. But, you know, I post everything on Facebook, but it's just been kind of a crappy Sunday. Honestly, um, I obviously am off work. Uh, we're probably going to go to the grocery store uh, my friend wants to get a turkey. Uh, I have to work this year on Thanksgiving and I'm just going to be completely exhausted, which sucks because I'd rather be exhausted from cooking because that's my favorite thing in the world to do. Um, we're going to have to do Thanksgiving on Sunday though, which my family is whatever. I don't really give a shit about that. Um, but I have to figure out what I'm making. Um, I'm, I'm probably just going to do like ham and macaroni and everything like that. And I really haven't, uh, I don't know, like, you know, when you're ready for the holidays and ready to eat everything, I don't care. Like, I, since I've changed my diet, kind of, I don't, I can't eat that much anymore. And I don't like to eat those kind of foods anymore because they make me feel like crap. But I guess for the holidays, I am obsessed with macaroni and this is like the one day out of the year that I will. Um, but everything's been kind of, I don't know, me and Matt had a long conversation last night about me moving out uh, because my best friend and me, my best friend and me, we were looking at houses the other night um, for like all of us to move in together, me, her, and her husband. Because she wants a, be a better house and I don't know if I want to necessarily live by myself. Matt really wants to go back to school and honestly with this living situation, it's just impossible. N neither of us can save money. Um, it was just something that was jumped into really fast and I don't know for sure what's going to happen. I don't know if we're going to stay here and... It's all just messed up because obviously, like, I don't have a car. His car is on its last leg. Um, I'm already wanting to find a different job that's even closer than what I'm working at now with better pay because that's a big issue with our financial situation. And I don't want to be that person to stand in anybody's way. And especially, of course, if he wants to go back to school, I am not about to be that bitch that's going to be like, no, you're going to, you know what I mean? Of course not. So if that's easier on him and he either moves back home or gets his own apartment with his brother so he can go back to school. I would completely want that for him because I still don't know what I want. I am still, we had a conversation and um, I I just feel like I needed to be more independent and on my own because I just kind of got too, I don't want to say I got too comfortable, but for like six years of my life, whenever I raised my niece, I lived with my dad. My dad was old. He couldn't take care of my niece. So I quit working to take care of her full time, you know, take her to school, whatever, you know, play mom, basically. So whenever I had to move out by myself, 
I was already very independent because I had been, you know, paying the bills. I mean, it was my dad's money, but I mean, I pretty much ran how the house went. And so I was prepared for it when I first moved out. And then whenever we moved in together, I don't want to say he took on the dad role, but it was almost like, oh, I can take a deep breath. Like I can kind of chill for a minute. I'm not the one supporting everyone and taking care of everyone, even though I still try to do as much as I can around the house. But you guys know what I mean. And I don't want to get comfortable like that right now you know I'm not ready for marriage and kids and all this stuff so I don't I don't this isn't the house and this isn't what I intended whenever we moved in here um and I don't want to say he thought it was more serious than it was obviously we're dating but I, I I didn't imagine that this to be the house like oh we're gonna get married and have kids in I don't I don't want to stay in this town that I'm in when I'm having kids, like, this town will fucking suck you dry, and it is just a miserable fucking place to be, and I do not want to be there, so we'll see what happens. I'm I'm really hoping that if I do move out, that means that I'm able to save some more money for the future, and maybe if we're kind of apart again, we'll have more drive to do other stuff. I really don't know, um, because I... 25 now, like, I feel like time is ticking, even though I'm still, you know... I shouldn't be freaking out as much as I am right now about, you know, getting stuff done. But I, I do eventually want to be fucking mentally stable. I don't want to marry someone going in with the mindset that I have. And obviously I have a lot of fucking issues that I have to work through. And that's not fair to put that on another person. Uh, and I've always been that way. I, it was so weird. Like we were ha talking last night and I even said, I don't like to bring up Tyler and our um, talks. But we just kind of, we're so different. We have nothing in common at all other than we're, we laugh a lot. Like that's all we do when we're together. We can crack jokes and like, he's like another best friend. And I swear to God that happens to me in like, well, this is only my second serious relationship. But even in my last one, everything, it just got really comfortable. And we were just goofy around each other, you know? And um, I mean, I for real said, I was like, uh, do, 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 do. Okay, I don't know what she said. Everything's backwards. But I was just like, why do you love me? You know, and I didn't mean that. I, I just said, yeah, what, we, what do you like about me? What do you love me? Or why do you? And he was just like, I don't know. I just do. And I, that wasn't like a bad answer, but that's literally what my ex said in my last relationship because I just feel like I'm such a fucked up mess and I don't do anything right. I can cook and clean a house and I, I will love you to death, but I'm just mentally fucked up and... I don't know how it is looking out or you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how anybody else sees me. All I, I can, you know, it's all in my head. I know that I've done fucked up shit and I'm not ready for a real relationship, but that's what sucks too. You know, whenever you look at somebody and I'm like, why do you love me? And it's, the answer is, I don't know. I just do. It's like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? You know, <laughs> I don't really know if you, if most people sit down, I think you, whenever you love somebody, you just do. Um, I mean, you can say like, oh, we're goofy together or whatever, but I didn't take that in a wrong way. I was just like, God, you're the second person I've been with. And that's what they say. Like, that's how I'm sure you can muster something up like, oh, you're funny. But it's like, I didn't, I have never gotten a real answer. So it's not that anything, yeah, neither of us are like, I'm fucked up. I, I don't know what to say about him. I just, I would feel awful if I ruined any anything that could go right in his life for real like I would feel like such a bad person but I think she just texted me thank you for letting me vent for a while um I need to put on a real shirt and I don't want to because I get sweaty fast as hell but yeah that's how I feel just kind of a blah day I guess we're just gonna come over here and um cook some more just kind of wanted to ramble on a little bit but I love you guys I'll see you next video